Well, national efforts to tighten voting restrictions are being prompted by GOP lawmakers across the country. And now Texas is the new focal point after that walkout by Democrats at the state capitol the other day. KTSM 9 News reporter Aaron Coolahan is here with what you need to know. State lawmakers are at odds over voter fidelity as members of the elections committee say that members of the GOP failed to meet their burden of proof. Elections committee member Art Fierro recalls a confusing experience. Can you share that data, that proof with us? And that person came back and said, yeah, it's on YouTube. Texas is now front and center when it comes to nationwide efforts by the GOP to implement voting restrictions pursuant to former President Trump's claims that the election he lost in November was unfair. It's a, it's a solution that doesn't have a problem. Governor Abbott took swift action to condemn the discord between the parties and will be calling a special session of the legislature to work things out. If enacted, Senate Bill 7 would stop drive through voting and 24-hour voting, while also making it easier for a judge to overturn election results without proof of fraud. Many state GOP leaders wholeheartedly support the bill. I believe it will serve the people of Texas well. Despite GOP faith in the bill, there are some Texas officials who've said the 2020 elections were secure. The Secretary of State, a Republican Secretary of State, whose office came to testify before our committee, said that 2020 was one of the safest, most transparent elections in Texas history. President Biden has criticized SB7, calling it an assault on democracy, while former President Trump vowed yesterday that he'll be reinstated in the White House by the end of the summer. To learn more about election fidelity and voting rights, head to our story at KTSM.com. Aaron Coulihan, KTSM 9 News.